Brothers and sisters, God has always graced our world with saintly people. One such person was Father Francis Jordan, a German priest born in Gutfeil on the 16th of June 1848. However, he spent most of his life in Rome, Italy. At the outbreak of the First World War, he moved from Italy to Switzerland to live out his last years there. He passed away in a village called Tuffers near Freiburg on the 8th of September 1918. One of many amazing things about this humble and holy man was that he began a few Catholic communities. First, on the 8th of December 1881, he founded the Apostolic Teaching Society. A year later, its name was changed to the Catholic Teaching Society. Several months later, the structure of the community was changed again to two different religious groups, one for women and one for men. Later, women became known as the Sisters of the Sorrowful Mother. In 1893, the men's group received its current name, the Society of the Divine Saviour. In 1888, Father Francis founded a second female congregation known as the Sisters of the Divine Saviour. It was a collaborative work with Sister Maria Therese von Wollenweber, who was beatified in 1968 and is known as Blessed Mary of the Apostles. Father Jordan's course for beatification was introduced in 1943, but only last year, on the 19th of June, Pope Francis authorized the Congregation for the Causes of Saints to promulgate the decree regarding the miracle attributed to the intercession of our founder. The miracle happened in Brazil. There was a young couple who were expecting a baby. Unfortunately, the hope of having a healthy child was disturbed by the doctor's discovery of problems connected to the pregnancy. The parents were informed that their unborn child was diagnosed with a disability. The doctors discovered in the tiny life an incurable bone disease called skeleton dysplasia. It is a genetic condition caused by a defect in a specific gene known as a genetic mutation. The bad news didn't stop the young parents from having confidence in God. As lay Salvatorians imitating Father Francis Jordan's great faith in God's providence, they began to pray for the child's healing. They were joined by the members of a Salvatorian group that also prayed for a healing through the intercession of the Venerable Founder. On the 8th of September 2014, the child was finally born. The hospital's specialists were expecting to see a baby with abnormal differences in the size and shape of the skull and limbs. To their amazement, the child was born completely healthy. It happened to be the 96th anniversary of the death of Father Francis Jordan. It was clear that the miracle could be attributed only to the intercession of Father Francis Mary of the Cross. After the promulgation of the decree regarding this inexplicable event in Brazil, the celebration of his beatification was only a matter of time. It was decided that the rite of beatification would take place at the Lateran Basilica in Rome on the 15th of May 2021, and Mass of Thanksgiving for the new Blessed Francis Jordan would be celebrated at St. Peter's Basilica on the 16th of May 2021. Many people were waiting for a long time to call the Venerable Servant of God, Blessed Francis Mary of the Cross, Jordan. For those who knew him from different publications, especially from his written talks and personal diary, it was yet another confirmation of their belief that he was truly a holy man of God. However, 
it was extremely important that the founder was officially proclaimed blessed. We Salvatorians really wanted him to be known in the world and to become a model of life to all Christians. We are very happy that Mother Church solemnly announced that Jordan's extraordinary way of life was totally committed to God and his Church. Therefore, it can be recommended to all men and women of our time as a secure path that will lead them towards salvation. At last, his virtues will be discovered by many more people. Brothers and sisters, the example of life of Blessed Francis Jordan gives us hope that each one of us can take part in the eternal life of God. His beatification encourages us to positively respond to the Savior's offer of salvation every single day and to share it with those around us. In our confused world, Blessed Francis reminds us that there is no other name in which we can be saved, only in the name of Jesus. Blessed Francis wrote that we have to use all good means available to us in spreading the good news of salvation. We simply look at our abilities and gifts and try to use them in sharing our faith with other people. We help others to accept the gift of salvation Christ offers them. In his thinking about the church community, Father Francis was ahead of his times. He was keen to invite lay people to be actively involved in the process of evangelization together with priests. It happened only after the Second Vatican Council when the church was ready for such an idea. Today, we Salvatorians are moving towards our founder's original vision. We invite men and women of every profession to join us in our mission to proclaim that Jesus is the only Savior of the world. Brothers and sisters, please take part in that mission. Please ask yourself, how can I share with other people that Jesus is the only Savior of the world. May the intercession of our beloved founder, Blessed Francis of the Cross Jordan, assist us in our earthly life, so that one day we will all be taken up to heaven and enjoy his company and the happiness of God's eternal kingdom.